Hello guys and welcome to part 3. It's the last one for how to paint a Nurgle Chaos Cultist. Um, we are not really f have finished the, the highlighting. So I was lying in the last part, I'm very sorry. Because we now have to use Carrick Stone. I like to paint all these little stitches there on the leather part as well on his mask. When, but I think this mask will really look cool if you paint it in a skin tone. Some blood on it or something like that. Because it looks more like he pulled it off of someone and then put it on his head. I don't know. <laughs> Sick guy there. So, um, yeah, this that one and the second for leather is... I use Steel Legion Drap, you can use Tolerant Sand, whatever you like. Just a brighter color than you used before, just to paint these edges. To get a little bit more contrast there, of course. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool then. And I think we are just nearly finished, in, finished all, all of this um, highlighting stuff. I have some, some specials here I used uh, for this miniature. I don't know if you have seen it, but you see it if you stay tuned there right now. So, yeah, this is it for this leather part. So now I use Rocket Flesh again. And I painted the scar because I want to have it. It must be seen. The scar must be seen somehow. So I needed to darken it again. And it hadn't the effect I just wanted to have. But anyway, I just tried to get on there and just. I used blood leather in the glaze. And this was also more an experiment. Because I wanted to have it look, have it look like it's, yeah, somehow infested or something, or just brand new, branded there. I don't know. So really mean. So this was the first try, and I'm, I know I was disappointed. So I used a little bit more on this scar here, and. I thought, okay, this looks, pfft. yeah, it hadn't got the effect I just wanted to have. It looks like it's nothing, nothing which has has to do with with skin or something. So um, I just said I try to highlight this top part again. So I get it etched more etched and um, yeah I use this rocket flash there and this step was pretty interesting that's why I'm talking so much I I, d I don't want to talk too much but but this was pretty cool if you have something like that and you're not satisfied with it just try don't use too much paint and if you don't like it, just paint it all over <laughs> or just try and try again so I I wasn't satisfied with that one as well so I, I thought okay let it try and and then think about it so I used white scar now highlighting uh, the eyes of this little fella here mm -hmm. and I use blood letter for the eyes as well. Just fill it up with two drops, then dry up the brush, and then you can pull out too. When you have too much paint in it, this uh, gaps there, just make your um, brush really dry, and then he sucks out what what's too much, and then it looks like this. I was stunned. I I was very happy. So um, never mind the scar, so I just 
continue it with typhus corrosion. I have a tutorial for this one and I said okay I will use it on this miniature as well and I don't apply it just in like a wash more more like dry brushing um, I just loaded the brush just make it dry and then I painted this parts this all these metal parts and um, and I was satisfied as well because um, it looks really really old really rusty dirty and just make a few layers when you're satisfied just stop and you can also paint other areas for um, of um, this miniature to simulate some some dirt or something like that so I painted this part of the uniform and a little bit of um, of type of corrosion on on the boots But not too much. I, I just wanted to overdo it because um, you have to focus on the gun and not on the boots. And just make layers and layers and layers until you're satisfied. And um, you can use, in addition to this, this dry color. It's called Rise of Dust or something. Um, it's also a technical one. Um, now I use Giannis uh, Gold to paint this little chaos star there. I just forgot it. And I said, okay, just paint it with Janice Gold and then it's enough. And uh, don't, don't be, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't be disappointed at this point. And now I try to, yeah, take care of this scar. And so I use Caraboo Crimson and I said, so let's, Let's do it, baby, and just do the rest. And now it has to work, so I just try to um, make this range of, of this red tone a little bit wider, so um, it looks like it's somehow, what's the word? I think the word is sore or inflamed or something like that. And um, yeah, with this one I was very happy. So you have this dark scar and then this brighter red tone around it. It's pretty nice. And I looked on this gun and I said, okay, with this typhus corrosion, you don't see the gun anymore. So I, I just wanted to have some, some parts highlighted with lead belcher again. Just the, the very edges, and just not everything, just some, some put out some highlights there. And this was a nice result. I was happy with that one as well. So this was enough talking. I'm very sorry. I'm not talking this much, I think. I hope. <laughs> So I also use it on the backpack to get some more contrast there as well. Because all these edges are really disappearing when you have just a just brown tone there. So need to highlight the lens. And I use Squick Orange again. I don't want to use so many paints, so. Um, but I think I failed there. I don't know. But anyway, I was very satisfied. This was the first try, and um, 
it came out quite nice. If you do think the same, uh, just tell me, of course. Give a thumbs up rate for me. And um, for this miniature, of course. Um, yeah, don't forget to rate, comment. This helps a lot. Just share it. Share it with your friends or whatever. And tell me whatever you like to tell me about my videos. And um, what you like to see, what you like to have changed. And I wish you a nice day. And have fun with painting, guys. Bye-bye.